the Gordon Richards Stakes will close out day one of week three. It's a 10 furlong group three for the older horses. Pathmaster is at the top for Joshua Sutherland, and Ozzie Anshan, Dan Hughes, Dutch Riviere for Jai Bermanstein, Foreman, David Robertson, Ithaca Circle, Village Gerard, it's Passion, Not Profit, Leon Van Rensburg, Purple Morning from Unas, Tallahassee Typhoon, Paul Rhodes, Tower of Good Spies, Jim Murray, Ithaca Zitka for Vinnie Gerard, Mongoose Shop, Darren Thompson, Niggle Harriet, James Shea, Organised State, Leon Van Rensburg, Patterson's Return, James Shea and Valento Ryder for Dan Hughes. 15 of them then. In this one. Where they go and racing. Just two furlongs further than last time. A big field though. Uh, one or two of those wide will want to try and get themselves into a better position before the turn, I would think. But Pathmaster has got off into the lead. So as in the last race, then Joshua Sullivan Horse has got to the lead and has got to the rail. Mongoose Shop is in second. In comes Tower of Good Spies in third. The two Leon Van Rensburg horses are down on this near side. It's Passion Not Profit and Organised State. Tanati Typhoon is in the centre of the pack. Looking to the back, Valento Rider. The only grey in the field is the current back marker along with Ithaca Zitka. But it's Pathmaster who's got the lead by about two lengths or so to Mongoose Shop in second it's passion not profit is in third tower of good spies is back in fourth then comes ithaca circle and organized state with tanati typhoon after that one foreman has been driven up to take closer order as well that one caught widest on the tack is dutch revier that one's gonna lose a couple of lengths on this turn I would think but it's Pathmaster who's got the lead by about three to Mongoose Shop in second it's Passion Not Profit going up the inside to move into second then Stable Mate Organised State is next Tallahassee Typhoon now making a strong looking challenge on the outside with just about three and a half furlongs to go Pathmaster being pushed along in front it's Passion Not Profit is second Tallahassee Typhoon is still there in third looks to be going easily in fourth on Organised State but it's going to need a bit of a split being boxed in by his own horse at the moment Mongoose Shop is also there on the inside. Here come the James Shea horses. Niggle Harriet is weaving her way through, but it's Pathmaster who leads with two furlongs to go. Pathmaster in front. Tanasi Typhoon is second. Organised stake now. Got a clear run in third. Here comes Niggle Harriet and also Patterson's returns coming through as well. Wide on the track. Ithaca Zip has come from nowhere, but it's Pathmaster who's still in the lead. Patterson's return is absolutely flying, but Pathmaster's holding on at the moment. But they're inside the final half furlong and now Pathmaster gives way as Patterson's return swoops into the lead. Niggle Harriet into second it's another one too for James Shea and oh, goodness gracious me one two in two group races at Sandown James Shea is definitely staking a claim to be the flat trainer champion of the year it's turned everything on its head from the commentator's point of view because we're so used to seeing Josh and Leon and Vinny and Darren Thompson winning those races, but Patterson's return takes it for James Shea, Niggle Harriet, or James Shea again, or second, Pathmaster for Joshua Sutherland was third, Valento Ryder, Dan Hughes was fourth, and Ithaca Circle for Vinny Gerard was fifth, so an exciting day one then, with some great finishes, and we're back tomorrow for 2000 Guineas Day, day two of week three.